What's up, DCC fans? Get ready to roll up like it's 1974 with 3D6. I'm Sam. I'm Dave, and today we're going to be talking about the numeration behind Dungeon Crawl Classics RPG modules. Alright, Dave. So when we were first getting into DCC, I remember looking at all the available modules at, online and being overwhelmed and confused by just the vast number that was out there. Uh, there were a lot of modules that were published before this book ever even came out. And then in addition to that, there are a lot that are followed by like a something point five or a something point one two or something B or C. And I was just hoping that maybe today we could shed some light on what all that means so that a newcomer to this game won't be as confused as we were. Well, the first thing that a newcomer should know is that Goodman Games published Dungeon Crawl Classics modules as third-party modules for Dungeons & Dragons 3rd and 4th edition. So you're telling me that everything published prior to 2012 was essentially just uh, Dungeons & Dragons module? Correct. Um, modules in 0 through 52 were for 3rd edition, and then 53 through 66 were for 4th edition. Alright, so then if those were for 3rd and 4th edition, then if someone's looking to get into DCC, the role-playing game, that what, where should they even start looking? Well, the first module published for DCC RPG was 66.5, Doom of the Savage Kings by Harley Stroh. And there it is with the point five. Like, what does the point five mean? Where does that come into play? So those, there are a couple of reasons uh, they could have a point five at the end of it. Um, the first being that, you know, it was a, a Kickstarter incentive. Um, you know, for example, 66.5 actually came with the uh, DCC RPG core rulebook when it first came out in 2012. Um, you know, it could also mean that it was meant for a brick-and-mortar store. Um, and, you know, there's also that it was rewritten for DCC RPG from those previous 3rd and 4th edition uh, modules. Yeah, uh, like Gregor's Dungeon, I know, is one of those. I can't Correct. remember the number, but... So, that explains the point five. Then we've also got the modules that are uh, point one, point two, point three. Where do those come into play? Uh, those are going to be setting specific modules. Um, so, you will see that with the uh, the shutter mount, or the chain coffin in the shutter mountain setting. Um, you're going to see that with Peril and the Purple Planet modules. And you'll also see that with uh, Journey to the Center of A Earth modules. Okay, so you've got like the chain coffin box set that's number 83. And then inside of that, I had some books that were like 83A, 83B. Are those like box set specific? Those are box set specific modules, yes. And you will see that with the Chain Coffin. And you will also see that with Peril and the Purple Planet. Okay, with that would be 84A, B, and C. Correct. All right, so now that we're talking about settings, we know that the new Lankmar box set's coming out soon. And with that, there's going to be a whole slew of modules and things coming out with that box right. set. How is Goodman Games going to handle all of that cataloging? Well, so Lankmar appears to be a separate line of products from their, their core products. Um, so with the Lankmar, we see already that it starts at number one, and we assume that it will continue through eight and beyond. Okay. So is there anything else that people should be looking for in terms of modules? Uh, anything other than these box set ones or anything? So, you know, for lack of a better term, um, we have annual modules and, you know, we can consider those as Halloween modules or holiday modules, um, which they release, you know, once a year. Uh, there are also convention specific modules and free RPG day modules. Okay. And also, I mean, there's the plethora of third party modules that are available as well, right. but We'll have to tackle those in another video. So I've got one more question for you before we go, and that is if you had to choose one module for a newbie to play or a only new one? judge to run, only one, maybe two. Maybe two. All right. Um, so definitely I would highly recommend starting out with a funnel. That is going to be the foundation for Dungeon Crawl Classics RPG, and we'll cover that in a later video. Um, but the one that I would recommend specifically would be number 67, Sailors on the Starless Sea. Um, that's highly regarded as one of the classic funnels for DCC RPG. That's the first one we ever played, and we had a blast with it. Absolutely. Oh, well, and there's also one that comes inside this book whenever you buy it. Correct. Or actually two. Yes, um, so specifically, depending on the, uh, the printing of the core rule playing, of the core rule book that you have, you're going to get definitely Portal of the Stars, and the one I have here, the second soft cover printing, that comes with Abbot of the Woods. Um, you will see other adventures in it, depending on which printing you have. All right. Well, I think that basically covers everything that you need to know about modules. So now you're ready to go out there, start shopping with confidence, and get ready to start playing some DCC RPG and rolling some funky dice. 
With that, if you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to us if you would like this video, if you'd subscribe to the channel. It would really help us out. And I'm Sam. Thanks for f watching 3D6, guys. And I'm Dave. Thanks for rolling up like it's 1974. Nice. nice.